I mean, incredible. You look incredible. Thank you. How do you feel? I, I mean, I feel amazing. Like, I never expected to, you know, I feel like, the crazy thing is, half the time I, I feel like I see myself in the mirror and I'm like, oh, like shocked. I'm genuinely, genuinely shocked because, or like, I'll see my back in something and I'm like, I don't, I think someone else is in the house. Like, there's like a mirror in my living room and if I'm walking one way, I'll like see the reflection of my back and I don't think it's me. Like, it doesn't, it hasn't sunk in in my brain quite yet that I've lost as much weight as I have. Like, I've been working at it yeah. so crazy much, but I, it hasn't really like hit me. Like, I still feel like, Oh, I need a size 14. You know, it, it's it's a weird feeling. Yeah, well, let's talk about the reasons you did this. Right. You did it for Zev. Yeah. You wanted him to grow older with his mommy. Yeah. So were you really concerned that Zev might not might not have a mommy if you were right. still going down the same path? I never think about my mortality. I never thought like, oh, I could die if I'm not healthy. I never think like that. But I thought about how like I want, even though my son will not eat anything healthy like there it's like a joke like he he will tell the doctor that his favorite foods are broccoli and carrots but I've never once seen him put one in his mouth ever but he, he knows what he to knows say. the right answer but he won't ever do it right. but like I felt like almost responsible to like show him a healthy lifestyle tell me about the timeline then because you haven't been living in this new body right. for that long right it it started literally it started in April, I was, um, I went to the doctor and the doctor said, like, I got all, you know, I just did my, like, normal checkup and you do all your blood work and everything. And then I went back and the, and the doctor said, you know, your cholesterol is high. It's 220. And he said, I'm not sure if it's your cholesterol is high because of genetics or if it's because you're overweight. He said, you know what, in six months, come back and let's see where you're at with your weight and see if your cholesterol changed. So I was like, I took that kind of as my wake up call. That was my wake up call most of all. The biggest thing, and I have to, like, say this is that when I was a size 14, I was super happy. Like, I was happy with my body. I felt confident in my body. I felt confident in my clothes. I don't think a size really should define who you are and how you feel about yourself. I, for myself, felt like, okay, I am five feet tall. I'm not, the doctor's saying I'm not healthy now, so I need to change my way of life. But I do like, like I was, sh this is like so crazy and like everybody would understand this at home, but I like, I was shopping the other day and I was like, I was wearing a dress and I was like pulling some things to wear and this guy um, at the store was like, oh, I think there's a, this great dress that would look amazing on you. Let me go get it. And I was like, okay. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, like he's going to pull an eight or a 10, like, cause that's what size I am, you know? And um, he came back with a size two and I was like, Oh my God, like that was the best ploy ever. Like I was absolutely buying whatever it was. If it closed on didn't my body, matter. it didn't matter. What you do with your old clothes? I still have them because I'm sure I'll gain it all back. I know it's horrible, you have to not. But here's the thing, it's the whole, my fear is what do you do? What like? I have jeans that fit me great and what if, God forbid, I gain it back? I need those jeans, I need those dresses, I know. I know, everyone's like, you. I know, I know. Clear like, it out. I know. Clear it out. My closet is, you don't even understand. I have my closet and then I have just like racks of clothes. You've been through a lot. A couple years ago, yeah. you lost your dad. It was by far the worst time in my life. And I, I honestly thought I would never have come out of it. Like I'm shocked that I can even like function today because it was a, he it wasn't like a slow death it was a it was a very sudden i didn't get to say goodbye it was i was with him in the hospital but he never woke up um and i had a very long a long journey of just straight up depression do you think that that grief and that loss played a part in how you have turned your life around yeah. after you came out of it absolutely we're given such a short time on this planet mm -hmm. to like not take care of yourself and try to be present it definitely when I snapped out of it was really when it was like oh and it was like I got you know and I I was doing jobs that weren't really right for me like I was I was not I wasn't unhappy at work but it wasn't what I was meant to do I'm meant to be an actress I'm an actress like I love to perform I love to entertain and I wasn't doing I was just going where the jobs were I was going wherever the money was the work was and and I, and you have to do that you, just to survive. But I wasn't doing what was fulfilling me. What do you think your dad would say about you right now? Oh, he would say that he would think that I looked so beautiful. But then he would say, <laughs> "But you always look beautiful." He would actually be like, "I didn't even notice you lost weight." He would just be happy that you were sitting here talking to me, and I was on TV.